According to Nancy Pelosi and other House representatives, the stimulus check and stimulus package bill could be voted on as early as Friday. Hello and welcome to today's February 24th, third stimulus check update and third stimulus package update, as well as trending news. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now for all the best updates, smart money tips, and trending news. All right, uh, before I jump into this, I just wanna remind you to sign up for the cash contest giveaway. We're helping eight people with $500 to help cover bills uh, and whatever else they wanna spend that money on. All right, uh, now yesterday, more than 150 business leaders signed a letter to be sent to President Joe Biden saying they believe the stimulus package is necessary for people and small businesses. A former executive of Walmart said in an inter interview that without more aid for the people, people won't have money to catch up on their bills and small businesses will go under at an alarming rate leaving only Walmart and other uh, big box retailers left as places to shop and spend money. One line from the letter said, Congress should act swiftly and on a bipartisan basis to authorize a stimulus and relief package along the lines of the Biden-Harris administration proposed American Rescue Plan. So basically saying, we think that you should do this plan and you guys should do it bipartisan. We all know that's probably not going to happen, but that's what the that's what the letter said. Now, President Biden admitted in an interview that he has been getting conflicting information. For many months, he said, I was being told to go big. Now I'm being told I've gone too big. What would you have me cut out? He asked. Well, Representative Green of Georgia responded by saying, how about the $12 billion you plan to send to foreign nations? Why not send that to the American people? From what I am researching, it looks like the vote on the next stimulus check uh, and the next stimulus package could happen this Friday in the House of Representatives. House Rep and uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi are saying that everything is on track for the House to be able to vote this weekend uh, and then pass the bill on to the Senate. Senator Collins of Maine says she will be voting against the stimulus check package in the Senate because there are still hundreds of billions of dollars unspent from the Trump December stimulus package and the majority of the new $1.9 trillion stimulus package won't even be spent until 2022 or 2023. She questions why they need to have Congress create such a large slush fund of money if it's not going to be used for the pandemic or in 2021. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't just do a standalone bill at this point for the $1,400 stimulus check or, or do what President Trump did and uh, do a standalone $400 federal unemployment boost uh, standalone bill uh, the government's inaction is causing many Americans unneeded stress and frustration uh, as they continue to delay, delay, delay. There are now less than three weeks before most of the federal programs expire. These politicians seem to love to drag things out right up until the deadline and in some cases beyond the deadline. It's just, if, if you did this kind of stuff in a corporation, you would be fired. If you took vacations while the company was crumbling, you would be fired. In politics, it, it's just uh, business as usual. Now, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said all Democrats need to band together to pass the next stimulus check bill, or they run the risk of making the party look bad. Uh, sometimes I wish these politicians would worry more about the people that voted them into office and less about the optics of what they'll look like to the media. Now, Senator Mitt Romney is trying to find common ground with Dem his Democrat counterparts in the Senate. He and Senator Cotton are proposing that the minimum wage be raised to $10 and looked at again in the future instead of the $15. Uh, 
uh, Representative Ro Khanna of California said, he doesn't want a business if a business can't pay $15 an hour or more. When Representative Khanna was asked about the Congressional Budget Office's prediction that the $15 minimum wage increase would cost the American economy millions of jobs, he replied, we don't want them anyway. So basically he's saying that if you can't pay $15 an hour in America, uh, then you don't deserve to be in business and you're not a viable business. Now he did get attacked on Twitter for these comments, especially by business owners. Um, personally, as a business owner, I'm all for a livable wage, uh, but I do find it interesting when politicians that have never run a business and have a printing machine for money tell people who are running a business and don't have a printing machine how to run their business. It seems like they have no business telling these people what to do, but I digress, right? All right, now we are still waiting to hear whether the $15 an hour uh, wage increase will even be part of the next stimulus bill. If it is, the bill will receive pushback from three Democrat senators. If it isn't, the bill will receive pushback from all Republican senators. Uh, either way, they are making progress, but it seems to be at the, the pace of a snail. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm, I, I'm just reporting this stuff. I wish I could make these guys move faster than they are. Now, Chuck Schumer, uh, Senate, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, uh, came out and told the press that soon he and his colleagues will be releasing a $3 trillion infrastructure bill to help America become green and create new jobs. Uh, this would be one of the most expensive bills ever put forward. But Schumer says we need to spend this kind of money if we want to compete with China. Now, in trending news on the border of Bristol, Virginia, uh, the bars are required to close down at 10 p.m. But just across the street is Tennessee, and they're allowed to stay open until 2 a.m., so many business owners in Virginia are furious at their government because they're losing tens of thousands of dollars by watching their clients and their patrons get up out of the bar and walk across the street to their competitor. Pro golfer Tiger Woods was involved in a rollover accident that left the celebrity with badly injured legs. It's not clear whether these injuries will affect his professional golf career, but he will have a long road of healing ahead of him, as well as many hundreds of hours of physical therapy. According to a police report I read, it looks like this was purely an accident based on coming down a hill, maybe a little too quickly, uh, but there are no charges uh, being brought against Mr. Wood or anyone else, so there was no intoxication or anything like that. It was just a purely an accident. Also, uh, I'd be curious to know from my community, uh, did you notice that there was no State of the Union? Uh, it seems like every February, the president delivers a State of the Union address, and, and there isn't one, and I, I can't seem to find a date. Has that been canceled? I, I just, uh, I always like those because it kind of tells you what's going on, but I, I don't see one. As a throwback to the olden days and to help customers that don't have smartphones, Lyft Rides is going back in time and allowing people to pick up the phone and call if they need a ride versus using their smartphone app. Fry Electronics closed all of their stores overnight and without warning uh, and will be going out of business after being in business for 40 years. Very sad. According to The Who, COVID numbers have dropped for six weeks in a row. So that, that's good news. This is my update for today. Uh, as I know more, I will definitely share more. Before you go, make sure to check out that link for the cash contest giveaway. It ends in just a couple of days. Also, make sure to check out my video from this morning where I tell you about a great dividend paying stock that uh, is projected to pay 7.13% in dividends and have a potential 9% increase over the next year. As I let you go, I wish to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.